Today we're going to be installing the vents on the Wrangler for a separate video, but today we're focusing on the Renegade. So this is going to be a ventilation for from 30 acres. It's going to go in between the seven slots. We're going to walk you through on how to cut these out and install this on. So stay tuned. This is going to be a really interesting install. Okay guys, so the first step to installing this is going to be you have to take off the front grill. Um, I'm going to go through the whole step, even though we've got the Avid bumper on. I'll show you all how to do the rest of it if you have a normal grill. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove these Torx heads. And I'll tell you the size when we get to that part. And then you're going to come over here. Oh, there's going to be these plastic clips as well. There's four of them, one on each side of the light. And you're going to come over here. And there's going to be normally two bolts here and here. But right now these are gone because of that. And there's going to be normally one down here in the wheel well area, you would see. And underneath the bumper, there's going to be five of them that are going to be T25, I know for sure. We don't have them on here because we got the Avid bumper. So with the Avid bumper, in this case, all we're going to do is we're going to undo these. And you'll undo these. And then you'll undo these right here. And we'll take off the front facade. And we'll get to the point where we're going to get our Dremel. And we're going to cut out each one of these grills. And we're going to install the mesh. Alrighty guys, so first on the list, we're going to remove these, and we're going to remove these plastic clips. You're going to need a T55 Torx head to remove this, or you can use a really large Allen head, or if you're super careful, you can use a flathead screwdriver that's large enough to fit inside the hole, but like I said, be careful, you don't want to strip these out. Alright, so we'll get that done, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so if you got the Avid bumper, I had set it up for these top two bolts you'd see behind this plastic cover. We're going to be the 7mm ones for the standard ones instead of the star heads. I didn't put those back in for simplistic reasons. If you got the regular factory bumper under here, you'll have two sets. You'd have the 7mm bumper and the star head that I think are also T25, just like underneath here, that you'd have to take off and remove. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Alrighty, so now that we got that done, we're going to do the same to the other side. Now, on a side note, if you have the factory bumper, right here in the wheel well, there's going to be two bolts along the side. They're uh, going to be Phillips head screw, uh, Phillips head. There's going to be one down below underneath on the corner. And then, like I said, the T25 Torx heads, there's going to be five of them all along the bottom. And you're going to have that on both sides. And then after that, the front bumper should just pull right off if you also disconnect your lights if you have the factory bumper. Excitement this time. Okay. All right, guys. So we got this first one cut out. I'm going to walk you all through this. So your best bet is to go ahead and get you a Dremel tool if you got one. If not, find something that has a cutoff wheel that's small enough. I got the plastic ones for the Dremel. And you're going to cut along each edge, and then you're going to cut the corners into it like I did here. Okay. Then you'll get you a tool and you'll clean up these corners, and then you're going to mount it via these screw holes right here, which I'll show you when we get to that point. But for now, we're going to go ahead and speed through cutting all these out and get this done, and I'll show you how to clean it up in a more professional manner, and then we'll get this thing right back onto that Jeep, and we'll be good. All right guys, so now we're gonna clean up the corners. I already got these three done to get a good idea of what it is you need to do. If you have the Dremel, you wanna get a little fine tip like this and you're gonna basically just go in and clean them out 
and it's gonna cut away at these pieces. And then another thing I'd recommend, I don't have, so it's gonna take a little bit longer, is if you have a file, and it'll file away the plastic and make it nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna film this, I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? getting it cleaned up you're going to lay this down and it's going to come with these two brackets that are going to go in these little screws um so what i found out is you don't want to fold them exactly like 90 degrees you want to kind of like 45 them and angle them so when you angle them they're going to sit more flush and so if you'd want to pick that up please this is what it looks like in the end uh, when you actually put it up against something it's going to like as you can see, it darkens up compared to being in the light. So this will all darken up. And we'll go and finish getting this installed onto the Renegade and we'll get you some really good shots. Of it. Okay guys, so we got the uh, Dirty Acres grill mesh installed. And we went for a test drive and on average it was running about 210 to 220 beforehand. And now it's running at about 190 to 200. So you can see a pretty substantial drop in temperature. Right now it's about 66 degrees outside. We've had a bit cold weather during the summertime. This will be the true test or not, which is what we're preparing for when we go out to Moab. Um, right now we don't have the winch in, so it's not gonna be a true test of temperature differential because the grill, the radiator sits only about halfway. So you're actually only getting about half of the efficiency, but since we also have the Valkyrie hood vents installed, which I'll link the video to that as well for this, you're going to get a lot of airflow through here, which is going to push it up through these vents and out through the top of the windshield. And during the winter time, that's going to be really nice for if it's frozen over. So overall, would this mod be worth it? Yes, it's taken probably a little over an hour, hour and a half to do with all the detail cleaning it up. I can, I will have a link to the product in the description below. They have many designs. This is simply one of them. And if you wanted to do one like the GPTV logo, which I have, I'm going to be doing to the Wrangler, I can get them to do that or we can do anything flags to stars to give your own custom stuff if you've got the right file for it so thanks for watching like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one there's a moment in your bones when when the fire takes over